And we are back one more time. All right, so today's question topic is, what is your favorite part about aging? I, <laughs> look this way. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say this is the right. No point. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, okay, perfect. This is the Brandon and Miyoshi show. I thought you were pointing to me like I was the old one. And uh, I but, but that was kind of it I too. I wasn't here for that, okay? I, but, yeah, you, you, I think you should kick it off with age. I, you know, follow your leadership and your wisdom. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Um, I brought this up because I think that a lot of times, like aging is seen as like a a, a negative thing, and it's just kind of like it's not really in terms of like everything about it. You know, I think that it's just kind of uh, it's different. You know, and it's like unknown. So it's like, how do you? What is it? You know, for me, I think the favorite part, my favorite part of aging is, um just more insight more perspective like there are so many things that i was doing wrong that at the time i was unaware they were wrong mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. so for me i think my favorite part of aging is like being able to apologize for stuff oh that's so beautiful <laughs> i'd be like randomly like hitting people like yo i don't know if you remember this i don't know if this still bothers you <laughs> but uh my bad about xyz and it's just like this cool process where it's like, at the time I didn't really see it as wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or I didn't see how how it could have been. I didn't, I wasn't able to see other people's perspective on stuff. Like, mm -hmm. oh, how you could have seen this. Mm -hmm. Or or your side of it. You know, I think when you're young, you just kind of, you're kind of living your life. For me at least. Mm. And uh, although I've always been like super considerate, yeah. I just didn't have the the perspective to be like, Oh no, that wasn't good. That you know what I mean. That wasn't right. And sure, it may not have been like some like egregious or like some wild like obviously flag on the play, stop, whistle type of thing. But there's just stuff that just the subtlety wasn't there. You know what I mean? And and for me, that's kind of been like the coolest part of aging is just kind of being a better person. No, that, that's that's very delightful. That was very that was very freeing. Um, it's it's interesting to hear that, but you're also still in like your 30s space because when I talk to like people that are way older than you are because you're still a young man, they don't give a damn. Like they right. <laughs> it, they get to this period where they're like, I said what I said, I did what totally. I did. You're gonna take it, and it's just like, oh, that's beautiful to see that you know. Oh my when God. you get into that middle, you're not even middle age. You're still so young. Right. right? I can't wait to get to the don't. I don't really. Age. I don't want to see you. Like I, I don't. I don't even know if I'm gonna because be this friend. I am so considerate to other people. It almost pains me oh. how much I consider others, really? and I can't wait to get to really? that, to get to that stage. Or I say, I said what I said, <laughs> mother. Uh, you, you heard me. You heard me now. I'm going to get the damn call. I feel like BT's already there, okay? Oh <laughs> but he's very considerate. But for me, like, aging, I would just be like, the choice to just, to live for, for you in a sense that you really have capabilities. You really have a space in this world. Now, when you're a kid, it's kind of like, oh, I'm just trying to figure it out. And even though I'm still in that face, I have so much cool direction mm -hmm. based on the wisdom I've gained along the way. Totally. And then on top of that, you have like, you know, the, the idea that the world is so big, but I can also travel. Mm -hmm. Like I can literally go from California and live in Italy and, and be okay. Like when I was younger, it's like that really wasn't an option. Right. But now that I'm older, it's like, Oh, I can do this and I, I'm comfortable. I know that I'm responsible. I've learned stuff. So I'm still in that phase. I'm not I'm not that old, y'all. I'm just letting me be honest. But I think I've my, that was my neck. I'm not I'm not that old. You I'm still older, you see how you see how hip I look right now. I made sure to wear this cool love the work the long tech shirt, you know what I'm saying? Look, I'm shouting out the long tech. You see the vibes. You see them. But the no, right um, here. I'm still, I'm still young, like I'm still hip. Uh, but at the end of the day, just being able to to be in control of your life, mm -hmm. and and also what you were just saying, like perspectives and things that you gained. But aging is cool. I don't understand because 
older women when they lie about their age i just don't get it getting older and what comes with being 50 is make now she is above 50 but she used to tell people that she was 50 i was like why are you over there lying right. so people could just tell you like black don't crack like that's what <laughs> it's like she want to call me <laughs> no but Yo, that's yeah funny. i i never more. understood that why like women would lie about their age and well guess what <sighs> You're gonna find out, you know what I mean? And I, you think I, I'm gonna lie about my age? I don't think you're gonna lie about your age, but I think you're gonna get to the age where people lie and you're gonna understand why. Lie. And you're gonna have to make that decision whether you do or you don't. That's and true. I am old enough to know that. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? No, oh, go, go ahead. No, go no. ahead, go, no. Um, I would say like, now that you're, you're, you know, a little more wise. Right. I don't like calling people old. Now that you're you've increased, early thirty, you've increased in wisdom. Yeah. Like when you talk about new perspectives, specifically, what are what are your perspective on family versus what your perspective was back when you were like in your early twenties? Now you're in your early thirties. Like you should soon as to be like family, like wife and kids and stuff like that. Like yeah. did that shift? Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. And here's why. My, my like, line of work hasn't changed, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's very, like, uh, it's very, like, specific. And it's, like, uh, it is one of those things where you're just kind of, like, chasing it, chasing it, chasing it. Mm -hmm. So those kinds of things are second or, like, 1A career, 1B, family, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, it, and sometimes they don't always coincide. Sometimes you make them work, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But that's like a decision for each person that's chasing a dream as to how to blend the two and how to make them work. Definitely possible, but you just kind of have to have a, you know, idea as to how you want to run it. Mm -hmm. So for me, it hasn't exactly changed much. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like at your age, uh, that's changing for you yet? In a, in a sense, yeah, like when I was younger, for sure, it was like, not like you couldn't tell me, oh, yeah, I'm going to have kids. I was like, I'm not going to have kids. No. How would I want those things? Right. You know, like, absolutely not. But as I get older, I'm thinking more of foundational, like when when I meet that person, what I'm going to, you know, do, what are we, what are we going to like grow into and mm -hmm. then once we get older like are we gonna have like a legacy behind us i was not thinking oh let me you know have kids so that they can take care of me and also increase the legacy of who i am who my my man or my partner or whatever i want to be inclusive partner is um i really wasn't thinking like that but now that i get older i see i see first off i see the blessing in the family structure even mm -hmm. more in the importance of us having that that connection and bond with another person and then creating new life in order to sustain what we've accomplished because i believe that i'm going to accomplish a lot of things and with my partner i think we're going to build on you know a lot of things you so fake totally. you a hater like bt is just a, i no, don't know no, if that's I, like a no that was, yeah, that was, you. That was or, deep. yeah you ain't going no, nowhere no, you I are going to be accomplish many things go ahead yeah like yeah, I, I do and and i would uh -huh. I see the benefit in being able to share that with someone. Yes. But back then, it's just like, oh, you're going to have kids? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Like, I, it was a definite no. Wow. And I still lean more towards the no. But I now <laughs> see the beauty right. so, in the family structure. Hmm, that, when you say that, that's kind of interesting. For me, I, for me, I always thought I was going to have kids. That's beautiful. Uh, but as I get older, I'm like... I've definitely had the thought of, hmm, what would life be like with no kids? You know what I mean? Like when I see like my like friends like getting babysitters and like <laughs> making life decisions based on children, I'm like, what well, do I need them? Or is this just like a cool like something to do? You know, it's like a like a really hot accessory. Is it like a <laughs> Louis Vuitton phone case oh, or is it yeah, like like for real for real you know what I mean so for me I think it's interesting to even have those thoughts where as I still would love children I still have thought mm, do I need them you know so it, super interesting but just that perspective you you increased in your age and wisdom to even get to that place yeah because yeah I never wanted kids it's crazy what is your what is your, the scariest part of aging for you? <laughs> the scariest part of aging is someone 
<laughs> no, you know what? I actually had it happen, and I'm just gonna share it. Oh. I got a notice from the IRS. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that I was like, I thought I never would have to go through that, right. and and having to like really learn franchise tax board and taxes and your past incomes and gross and all, like all this stuff. I, that stuff freaking scares me. But now that I've had the conversation, mm -hmm. I did my step by step. I did my play by play. Okay, Ooh. you know what I'm saying. Stack him up. And I was talking uh -huh. to that representative, and yes. they were just like telling me what they cannot do. And I said, "Well, if you can't do this, you need to do this." Oh. And by the end of that, what hour and like thirty minute conversation, light hour, plus, light thirty plus being on hold for like two three hours okay. trying to get a representative easy work i got what i wanted mm. and i think i was able to get what i wanted and decrease the number in which that they said that i owed and and why that said that you yeah owed. Said, like okay. hold on you know I did, my, I did my homework did it you know but that wisdom of creating that play by play and also having conversations with older people right. that may have went through similar things or they understand it and being willing to listen because mm -hmm. you know when you're younger it's just like i know what i'm doing mm -hmm. i got this all figured out and it's just like no you you really don't you know because you don't know what type of beast you're about to and you fight. never will <laughs> <laughs> that's the part yeah like and and now it's like i feel like i can be a vessel for somebody else that wants to talk how to deal with the IRS because it's scary. It is like if it comes that way. Absolutely. But also, I, they basically came back to me and just told me that I made too much money in a certain year and like, oh, we actually didn't take enough. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that. No, that don't was... come back later. Don't come back two, three years later talking about we actually want. So that was like the the scariest thing that I could imagine having a conversation with an entity that large. Mm -hmm. But I also impressed myself how I took care of it. I respect that. Yeah. I think the scariest part of aging for me is like life is really your responsibility. Mm -hmm. Like your life is like your life, and I mean this in the most positive way possible, is your fault. <laughs> I like to wait. Yeah. What? <laughs> like, 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 it might not go exactly how you wrote it up, but what happens is your fault like all of it mm -hmm. so you mean to tell me y'all jokers is gonna give me a life to li to live and to do and i gotta figure you know what i mean and it's like sure you do it every day whether you're paying attention or not mm -hmm. but it's just kind of like the trajectory like how high it can go mm -hmm. how low it can go how in the middle it can stay is your fault what like i i get that and i think that's the the freedom the freedom that we have is to live our lives just as we see fit yeah but that's why i also have this sense of like spirituality connection that everything is not just on me like i can always take it to the higher power not to get all religious or whatever on mm -hmm. you but i am what i am yeah, yeah, yeah and i believe that i'm a child of the most high right. and that i can take anything and lay it at the throne and that he will be there alongside of me mm -hmm. you know to get yeah. it done so i'm never yeah. by myself no. and it's never just on me right so i think with that type of mentality and you finding some type of connection that you don't feel like that then the weight of the world won't seem like it's so heavy totally but with that one of the one of the the principles of that is free will free will yeah and uh, uh, better have some discipline yeah to, but but <laughs> but but the, but that's the part that's your fault too you know what i mean it's not a negative thing mm -hmm. and it, and it's and i don't think anybody is necessarily alone in the idea but it's just like yo like go be the president which is possible you know, it's so or nice. or go be a scientist mm -hmm. or or go open the studio that does X Y Z like mm -hmm. all that stuff you can do. You can, and then it it allows you to impress yourself when you get it done. That's the beauty. Like it's on me. Yeah. It's all me. Right. I'm supposed to do it, but like I said, when I made that cough, scared, shaking in my boots. Right. But at the end, when I was able to sit back, I, I was like, wow, Miyoshi, you did that. Totally. So. But I think, I think, see, and I think this is where it gets tricky, right? Is the parts that are highlighted. Mm -hmm. So the get the letter 
to make the call. Wow, I did that. Have the idea to be the president, to be in the president. Wow, I did that. Mm -hmm. That ain't the part. It's the journey. It, the part is in the middle. The that part is how session. long it took you to make the call. The part is the part is the backflips that your stomach hit before you dialed the number. No, you absolutely. Know what I mean? Or or the the time from understanding the number to paying the number. Mm -hmm. The time from starting the business to the to if the business makes it to how far the business makes it those are the parts that need to fortify and everything else you know the look at me i made it I, I but you 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 go i made it and you celebrate that win because you understand every step of the way what you felt along along that journey totally and that's why i really like and i i'm not like trying to really plug the long text but mm. that hashtag trust life like i really think that is something People need to do trust life live your life and understand that yes there will be hurdles there will be obstacles mm -hmm. you will find some roadblocks but at the end of the day if you want it you have everything in you you are well equipped in order to reach that level of success that's a fact it's it's a hundred percent fact and so I love looking back at my journey and I love sharing my story of how how I got to the hoorah mm -hmm. how I got to that celebratory stage because it might help somebody else. Hopefully. Hope, like, I, I, I really do. Even if you don't want to hear it and somebody share your story, you think about it later down the line, you're like, oh, dang, BT told me when he was doing X, Y, and Z, he did this, and X, all these other things came, all these elements and factors, mm -hmm. but he still made it out. So let me try to, you know, maybe let me incorporate that into my step two. Totally. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, listen, I use, use me at the end of the day. You, if you need... To hear some advice, I'm willing to share it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to tell my journey. Mm. And when you ask people for advice, mm -hmm. be ready to listen. Mm. Don't sit there and try to argue why they think the way they think and all these things. I'm going to stop you. If you're giving somebody some advice and they start talking back to you, you stop talking to them. <laughs> You, you're not. No you, you're doing it. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You you had advice given level one, one hundred one. You need to take the advanced class. You need to take the capstone. If you move into advice giving three hundred three, which I teach Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in the humanities <laughs> building, that's from two hundred seven. I'm telling you, when you you're start giving advice, and somebody is combating said advice and or commenting back on said advice, they are not in a place to receive it. said advice. So That's what you need to do is stop it's wasting your goods. Don't don't waste your pearls on the swine. If you hear me, then you hear me. Don't do it. And delete. Hit them with the you got it. You did. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> And get up out of there. This has been another episode. Very, very another episode. Very general response. Of Brandon and Yo's 